Poland faces significant hurdles in operating and repairing the gas turbine engines powering its Abrams tanks, despite having a relatively modest fleet. The Polish military currently fields 116M1A1 Abrams and 47M1A2 Abrams SEPV-3 tanks. However, keeping the engines running reliably remains a major challenge. Jacek Goskczynski, General Director of Wojsko Zaklady Lotniks No. 1, WZL1, revealed that no company in Poland or anywhere in Europe currently possesses the expertise to fully service or overhaul the Abrams AGT 1500C gas turbine engines. Instead, major engine repairs require sending units back to the United States, specifically to the Army Depot in Anniston, Alabama, the only facility worldwide capable of complete component replacement for these engines. Goskczynski highlighted that maintaining the Abrams gas turbine engines demands a level of technical complexity and specialization comparable to helicopter turbine engine servicing. Unfortunately, these maintenance challenges were overlooked when Poland decided to acquire the tanks. The Polish Ministry of Defense confirmed ongoing efforts to establish a domestic repair facility for Abrams tanks. They anticipate that Polish defense industry sites will be ready to service the tanks by 2026, with AGT-1500 engine repairs commencing around 2028. Currently, WZL-1 lacks both the capability and contracts to handle these repairs, though discussions are underway with the Armed Forces Support Inspectorate and potential collaboration with Honeywell to develop an authorized service center in Poland. WZL-1 is poised to become the sole Polish enterprise capable of maintaining Abrams gas turbine engines. Meanwhile, another pressing concern is the high fuel consumption of the Abrams turbine engine compared to other main battle tanks like the Leopard 2 or South Korea's K-2 Black Panther. This inefficiency necessitates a larger logistical tail, including more fuel tankers and increased fuel procurement to sustain operations. These maintenance and logistical issues raise questions among experts regarding the Abrams tank's long-term viability and combat readiness under extended operational conditions in Poland. To diversify and strengthen its armored forces, Poland recently signed a contract to acquire an additional 180 South Korean K-2 tanks. Of these, 64 will be produced domestically in a customized K-2 PL variant tailored for Polish military requirements. This move may help alleviate some operational pressures posed by the Abrams demanding upkeep and fuel needs.